particle is projected at an angle of 60 degree above the horizontal with a speed of 10 meter per second. After some time, the direction of the velocity makes an angle 30 degree above the horizon. 30 degree above the horizontal. The speed of the particle at this instant is. It's a really simple question, but is conceptual with respect to the data given. So it is a particle is projected at at 60 degree with a speed of 10 meter per second okay so 10 meter per second so we know that this body will undergo a trajectory of parabolic path it will eventually land here with the same velocity we have discussed this in detail that this will be ux and this component here would be vy and vy will be equal to minus ui and v will be equal to u right and if you resolve this component here what is this along the horizontal this is ux and what do we have along the vertical is ui and what is ux ux is u cos theta what is ui it is u u sin theta so now the question says after some time let us say here the velocity can be resolved into two, vx and vy and the net velocity is v okay and it makes an angle 30 degree above the so so this angle is 30 degree right which means what is vx vx will be equal to v cos 30 degree and what is vy vy will be equal to v sine 30 degrees now what we need to understand is as we discussed earlier the x component of velocity right x component of or to be more precise x component of initial velocity remains constant x component of initial velocity remains constant throughout the motion okay which means ux here is the x component and vx here is the x component so essentially ux should be equal to vx what is ux it is u cos 30 what is vx it is v cos oh i'm sorry it is not 630 it is 60 so it is u cos 60 and it is v cos 30 now what is the value of cos 60 it is root 3 by 2 what is the value of cos 30 it is wait cos cos 60 is 1 by 2 and cos 30 is root 3 by 2 so what do we get v as we get v is equal to u by u by root 3 and therefore v is equal to what is the value of u u is given to us to as 10 10 by root 3 which gives us the correct option as option d